Hey, Hook Magic. I'm Jess. Thank you so much for stumbling along my channel and coming and hanging out. I truly appreciate it. If it's your first time here, welcome, my yarny friends. How are you? Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and hanging out. Um, if you like hanging out and you want to keep hanging out and you haven't already, Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos have been posted. If it's not your first time here, welcome back, my yarny friends. So happy to see you. And well, I can't really see you, but you see me. But anyway, it's fun to hang out and talk and, you know, do yarny things. Um, It is... Hold up. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I got the day right. It's Vlogmas Day 29, December 29th already, guys. Ooh, we are almost in the new year. This is crazy. Crazy. Let's pray that this next year is a good one. Because these last few weeks have been stressing your girl out. Let me tell you. So, like I said yesterday, I had a little story. So we're going to do a little story time, just a quick little story time. And then I have some um, crochet goodies to show you. Um, so quick little story time with Jess. Uh, well, you guys know about my heat going on, you know, and uh, we got that fixed. And then um, Friday, the day before Christmas Eve, uh, we were having like really like bad rain and the uh, weather was so cold and they were calling for like, you know, icy conditions and I don't like driving in icy conditions. Black ice scares me and I have a van and it is just not good. Excuse me. It is not good in any of those type of weather. I guess because it's so long, like the back, I, I spun out so many times. I get so nervous. I don't like it. So... I was kind of freaking out and um, I asked if I could leave early because I wanted to be home, you know, early enough so I didn't spin out. Okay, cool. They let me leave work early. Uh, I stop and get gas because I'm like, I better get some gas in because, you know, I don't want my tank being this low with the temperatures dropping. I drive to the gas station. I get gas. No problem. I go to leave the gas station. I stall. Okay. Turn it back up. I kept stalling and stalling and stalling until I finally made it into um, a shopping center parking lot. Thank God my friend worked there and she was there at the time. So she came out, helped me. We tried to get it going and everything. So she followed me home. I made it home safe. Okay. Cool. Go to work the next day. All day at work. I'm super, so this is Christmas Eve, all day at work, super nervous that my car is not going to start because I kept stalling the night before. The car starts. It's a little shaky, but okay, I'm saying it's cold. The van's like, you know, kind of old. It's a 2009. And, you know, sometimes like with the cold, the tires aren't great, whatever. Go to work. On my lunch, I went out and I'm like, let me start the car just to make sure that we're good. I, it starts up no problem. Nothing's wrong. I let it run for a little bit. Cool. We're good. I'm in a great mood. Uh, I go to clock out, you know, the end of my shift. I go out there. Starts right up. I'm like, woohoo. Then I'm like, wait a minute. This feels weird. I look out. I have a flat tire. <sighs> and of course, nobody could help. <laughs> uh, we bought a pump. I tried pumping it, you know, with the air just to get me to the gas station. Then I could use their like big one. Was not going. I'm like, it sounded like I had a slow leak somewhere. I don't know. Long story short, I get picked up, whatever. I go to, because we celebrate my family, uh, whew. got yarn fibers, I know I got yarn everywhere. Um, 
you know, we celebrate my family on Christmas Eve, so I ended up late. Anyway, it was a great night. All the kids make me happy. Being around my family makes me happy. They all make me laugh, so that turned my frown upside down. So Christmas Day, my dad and my brother, they, uh, because I had to leave my car there. You know, I had to leave the van there because I couldn't get it, you know. And it's Christmas Eve. You ain't, you ain't going to get a towing. You know, I probably could, but I'm not staying in that parking lot for hours. Anywho, we go. They put the uh, a donut on for me. We drive it to the mechanic. Hmm. He says, okay, fix the tire. No problem. Easy. Cool. As I was on my way to go pick up the uh, van with the new tire... Oh, and it was the tire valve. My tire valve was bad and I had a slow leak. So the whole time my car was shaking, I'm sitting here thinking it's because of the cold. No, I was slowly losing air out of my tire. Um, And then they find more wrong with my car. So <sighs> I'm getting my car back today after, you know, an arm and a leg, but it's cool. Actually, not too much, but it's just like... It's always something and it's just stressing me out. So that is why I haven't been on here in a while because I have been stressing and I stress so bad that on like Monday, no, well, it started Christmas day, like toward, like after we got, uh, we went and celebrated, um, Christmas with my husband's family. When we got home, I like passed out. I slept and then like all day money money all day monday i slept and i think just like the stress and the worry and every just i hate breaking down places especially on holidays and anyway so i think that got to me so i slept but anyway that is why i have not been on i have been having such bad luck lately <laughs> and it's like you know and of course it can't come at a worse time christmas time you know when you're all out of cash and then it's like, oh, this breaks, that breaks. Huh. But anyway, we're all healthy. We're all good. We're safe. That's all we care about, right? Okay, so moving forward. Now that we got that out of the way, I want to show you some crochet things. Mm. Check out the new cup my sister got me for Christmas. Eat, sleep, crochet, repeat. Ain't that the truth? Love it. Thanks, Shal. Um, okay, so you know the um hexagon cardigan I've been working on? That's you know for me, so I don't care. Well, this was my stress project. When I was stressed and I'm waiting for news and this and that, I just whipped this out and I just I kept going. I am obsessed with this. So let me show you how far I've got. Let me see if I can. Which way it goes. Ah, here we go. Okay. You know my end, so I'm not even going to tell you. <laughs> but here it is so far. As a champ, you love these colors. Um, so I did the sleeve sewed up the shoulder, put the cuff on, made the other one, sewed it up, put the cuff on, and then I added rows in the the middle here to, you know, widen up the back some. And then I added length from, I added like this much of length. And now I'm starting to work on the, um, like the ribbing, like the collar and going around. So it's not completely done, but I will model it for you because I know you're curious and I love putting this on. Okay. Let me get up. Okay. So. This is what it looks like so far. Oh, 
I gotta tighten my hole over here. The magic, magic ring circle. When I weave that end in, it'll, there we go. Oh, I gotta put this back more. So on the shoulder. This one came out kind of cool because it's like the mustard, the tan, the burnt orange, the tan, the mustard, you know? I like how that played out. So now I'm just going to put um, the ribbon, you know, like the collar part on it and around on the bottom. I don't know if you could see how it's like, uh, I don't know if you could see it. I don't want to, I don't want to touch my camera because every time I touch, I mess up everything. So, and it's sitting perfect. So I will, when it's all done, I will take pictures and stuff. And then you can really see like the length and everything. But this is just a little preview. I am obsessed. It is so comfortable. I'm so happy that I went with the cuffs because I'm really loving this. I love it so much. So, that is my progress on my hexagon cardigan, which I'm loving. So, and once like a project gets too big, I tend not to uh, take it to work because I don't like to you know, carry around a big thing. So I had to start another one. And I started this yesterday on lunch. So this is how far I got. So it's just a little baby sweater right now. And this one I am doing with a mandala bonus bundle and this is in the colorway genie number three and it has 1181 yards so and I have another oh, I have another one up here so if I need more and of course I want to go pull from the middle and look at all this, <laughs> all that came out. So that's what we're dealing with that. So yeah, I had to start another one because I need, you know, something to take to work with me, you know, calm me down there. Mm. So, okay. I think I talked your ear off enough. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Um, I hope you're staying nice and warm wherever you are. And I know a lot of people are snowed in. So I hope you guys are warm and safe and have lots of crafting things for you to work on, to keep sane, to keep safe, to keep busy, to just enjoy. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be snowed in and just crochet all day? I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> Um, so have a wonderful day and, uh, I'll hook up with you guys later. Bye. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.